Hi guys, Gogo one back with um, a quick look at the Action TT uh, figure stand forward slash uh, turntable. This is, I believe it was created by Hot Toys to display um, well, numerous amount of figures really, anyone you want. Uh, this is um, battery operated, it has lights in the base and this front logo area here. Um, Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to get uh, a nameplate of whichever figure it is and put it in here. I'm not entirely sure where you'd get these acetate style printed sheets from. Um, I don't even know if it would even work. But if we just quickly turn this on, we can see it in action. There's batteries in it already, it's battery operated. There is a DC connector at the back, but I, don't, I didn't get a DC adapter with it. I'm not entirely sure why. But that is the stand in motion. What will happen is it turns around and it rotates just to show off your figure as best it can. Um, it's not entirely that quiet. Once you've got it on, you can really hear the, the gears turning around in there. I'll see if I can get the uh, item, get this closer to it so you can hear. I have to pull it up to the microphone. I can't move too far away from the camera. Can you hear that? Um, yeah, when I got this in the post, the uh, the person who was delivering it got a little bit worried because as she brought it up to the door, it, uh, the button accidentally switched on and the thing started whirring and clicking, vibrating. And when she handed the package over to me, it was whirring and clicking and vibrating. And she sort of gave me a funny look and I gave her a funny look. And she was just like, uh, is there anything in there that's dangerous? And I said, I hope not. I, I had no idea. I'd completely forgotten I'd ordered this. So um, it was a bit of a surprise once I got this thing. But uh, once I got it inside, I sort of realized I was like, oh, no. Now I have to uh, try and uh, next time I see her, try and explain the situation. Because uh, as far as she's concerned, it looks like I'd bought myself a rampant dildo or something. Um Sadly, to be honest, I probably should have said it's a rampant dildo because when I tell her it's like a, a battery operated turntable for my action figures, she'll probably just think that's worse. So, yeah, um, this is the this is it in motion with the batteries on. Let me just there's two different settings. The first setting is with the base lit up. As you can see, it, it does look quite nice when you actually put something on there and display it. Um, I haven't done that yet, but it'll probably look quite nice once I've actually got a, a nice figurine to do it. I may even put my uh, Hot Toys Iron Man Silver Centurion figure on there. Um, or I might just wait until the summer once I get the die-cast uh, Mark III Iron Man that's coming out. I've pre-ordered that, so that, that could be quite nice displayed on there. Um, I think that would probably be the best. And the third setting is with the base lights on and the name logo lit up. Um, obviously the two settings are there because if you've got a name logo in that stand there and it's complete card or something there won't be any light shining through so it'd just be a waste of battery power if you had both of them on. However if you manage to get a name plate through the acetate then you might be able to... <coughs> Excuse me, I just sneezed. Um, if you manage to um, get the a name logo onto a some acetate and then put it in the stand you may be able to actually um, have it nicely lit up I think that would be really nice again it's a shame it's not quieter and uh, also it seems to revolve quite quickly there doesn't seem to be any other speed settings on here but if you get it in the right position you don't even have to have it rotating you can just have it lit up standing there just facing the actual people uh, and it can be displayed quite nicely uh, I don't really put the lights on in my cabinet very often if at all um, because you know I know what it looks like but obviously if you just want to get it and shove it off to someone then that would be good uh, overall I think it's a nice stand it's a little bit plastic fantastic as you can hear it's all plastic with whirly gears in it um, it needs a bit of a clean up to be honest but this isn't such a bad item. It's a shame that they they are a little bit more expensive. 
uh, I've seen them for 40 50 pounds on eBay I managed to get this for 30 so it's not too bad but if you're looking to get one of these I recommend it it's a very nice figure it will hold any figure you so wish but it seems to be you know marketed towards the hot toys because I believe they they were the ones that envisioned this but it's still uh, a very nice stand that I think you would really benefit for I believe there's some sort of connection item here so you can connect a few stands together as well I'm not entirely sure how that works maybe maybe if that's um, you have a few together you can have them all rotating and showing off your figures again like I said when, when something's in a cabinet unless it's in the middle of the room people can't walk around and see the finer details say like on the back of the item uh, especially something like say the Iron Man figures where some of the detail or the main detail is in the back when the, uh, the windbreaker flaps and things like that lift up um, once you have those up and everything you could probably put that on and it will revolve around and it's the sheer artistry showing off so you know, I, I do recommend if you can get something that revolves and turns, it's good. Shame about the noise. I wish it was a little bit more quieter. It, again, it scared the shit out of my uh, delivery driver. But hopefully this has been some way for you to get an idea of what the item's like. If you're thinking about buying one, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I think it's a great item. It looks good. It looks good. It, got a slightly it's got a cool look about it but slightly generic as well um to be honest though with the actual design in the bottom there it does look a little bit i don't know it probably worked better with the iron man or some sort of you know like the, the super tech characters um maybe you know age of ultron and iron man and maybe robocop people like that it would look a little bit a like, bit better for that um i don't know if you can get any other designs in the acetate but that top does come off and you can take out that uh, disc so if you take the design of the disc out and just put your stand in there then it might look a little bit different if we lift it off as you can see take the disc out put it back on it looks okay but in all honesty you've still got all those lights you can see and everything so it's probably best to keep that design in there otherwise it sort of takes away the image the the visage the mirage so to speak um it's like peeking behind the curtain so unfortunately it doesn't light up the whole base very nicely and it doesn't doesn't hide the leds very well so you most definitely need to put the uh, disc back in there i would say fit that back on and that's it so yeah I recommend yeah I don't see why not get one of these get a few of these apparently apparently they can connect them maybe you can power them through the DC cord then all connected together and that will save you some uh, plugs and switches but uh, yeah if you are looking for uh, some sort of revolving stand uh, this isn't a bad option um, I don't know about many others to be honest that would be it I would like it for the uh, turn to be a little slower because obviously it moves around at such a speed it does does make a bit of noise it'd be nicer if it just was a lot more subtle and it turned you know a little bit slower so you could show off each little bit as best you can but yeah check them out action TT stands